Easton now for Stoke. Doby, nice little flick there for Conroy. Getting in a shot, but Bonetti always with the body behind it. Garland getting above Alan Bloor. Doby, coolly wide there for Pedic. Dempsey and Hausman. But he couldn't keep it in, and it soaks at his throw. So John Hollins forever shouting on the field of play, and with a high-pitched voice is very often heard as well. Bernardo with the throw for Stoke. Greenoff. Good ball by Greenoff. What a good one to Eastham on the far side. Richie is poised in the middle, always the dark-haired target. But that time, Harris getting in before him. Skipper on Harris, who at 21, skipper Chelsea here in 1967, the youngest cup final ca uh, captain. Peter Dobing then with the throw for Stoke City. Smith is right up at the near post for Stoke. And Osgood had come back with him, and it was the fist of Bonetti. Turned in again, and now Greenoff looking for it, and Conroy! Terry Conroy! start by Stoke City and it was Conroy's header that finally put it behind Benetti with the ball bobbing about there exactly the start that they wanted with so many players inexperienced of what Wembley's all about Stoke were worried and wanted a good start and they've made a brilliant start with only five minutes gone Well, that really is going to shake Chelsea up. Hudson. Chelsea's throw. Paddy Mulligan, he's hobbled around there in front of the Royal Box. Webb. Towards Osgood. Trying to nod it for Garland. Garland getting the shot in, a beautiful piece of goalkeeping by Banks. Had so little time to see it, but got down in a flash from Garland. Marsh, as we go into the last minute of the first half, and Greenoff feeling that shoulder again. In fact, on his haunches. Certainly needed a lot of treatment, I would have thought, at half time, which is shortly to come up with Stoke leading by a golden hill. Dobing trying to shake off Hudson, and Hudson shook him off fairly, says the referee. Cook. And Cook getting past Bernard as well, and still he goes on. Bernard coming back with some more, and still Cook goes on. And finally the kicking got a little too furious, and Bloor is penalised, and Chelsea get the free kick. But a very good run, a very brave run by Charlie Cook. He stumbled and he stumbled, but he kept possession, and he kept going. Hollins taking it quickly, Osgood on the run towards the near post, and Banks goes down! The old one-two that nearly came off, and there's some pushing in the penalty area there between Osgood and Smith, and Osgood is going to have his name taken. In the last seconds of the first half, and the third player in this League Cup final goes into the book. Bloor and Pedrick for Stoke. And now Osgood for Chelsea. So it looks as though he's going to be all right again, Dennis Smith, the man who's broken his leg four times in his playing career since a schoolboy. He's broken his nose twice as well. He's had a cartilage out, he's broken toes, he's broken a hand. And now Banks with a kick. Harris. And Smith diving in brilliantly there to stop that ball going through to Osgood. Hausman to Harris. Dobing nodding in the way. Garland struggling to get to it, but beaten by Bloor. Webb. Everybody now, Barbonetti in the Stoke half of the field. 
towards Garland, played back for Cook. The little chip there again towards Webb, and Osgood, and Webb won't get a shot in, will he? Osgood on the ground, and he's done it, Osgood! While he was on the ground, he's got the equaliser. The first goal Osgood's ever scored at Wembley, and it puts Chelsea right back in the game at 1-1 in the last seconds of the first half. Webb had a go, and finally it fell for Osgood on the ground to have a go. And he put it past Banks. So Banks, who'd made three brilliant saves in this first half, Chelsea had far more of it territorially. Banks three fine saves to keep Stokes lead until the dying seconds of this first half. Cook now. Oh, he sold a beautiful dummy there on Easton. And now Hudson. And now Cook. And now Baldwin. And a corner. But a lovely flowing move again by Chelsea. Cook at the heart of it, Baldwin almost at the end of it. Hudson playing his part as well. So now the red and white stripes shirts are coming back in force. Garland up there at the near post. Dempsey two, Cook with a corner. Dempsey's header and over. Harris to David Webb. And now for Hudson. A lot of confidence there in that little bit of play by Hudson. It looks as though he might be running into trouble towards his own goal. Houseman along one forward. Hollins. Turned in again, but Dennis Smith there for Stoke. Oh, Garland beating him and beating him well. Oh, a lot of good skill there by Garland, and it won't come across, though, for Baldwin, because Alan Bloor is there for Stoke. Conroy for Stoke. Hudson for Chelsea. And now Webb. Great swashbuckling character, but that ball didn't find uh, Baldwin. Mike Bernard. Greenoff. And now Marsh. Doving. Swept wide there for Terry Conroy. Red shirts away to the pounce now. Conroy going past Webb. A delicate chip there, a deep one towards Richie. Nodded down again. And a good save! And Eastham! George Eastham! The old man has done it! And if that happens to be the winner, that really is a storybook come true. But George Eastham, after Benetti had brilliantly parried Green off shot. Eastham there to round it off. It'll be Terry Conroy to take it. Two and a half minutes to go. Conroy with the corner for Stoke. And Richie at the far side, nodding off by Houseman. Bernard. And now Cook. Thought about playing it back to Bonetti, but then thought the more positive pass was the one that was on. Hollins to Baldwin. I bet he's been looking at his watch once or twice, Dave Sexton, knowing that the time is quickly running out for Chelsea now. Well, it certainly looked just at half-time when Chelsea had scored that equaliser as though the pendulum might swing their way. And there's Garland now going in, and Banks saving it! Tremendous challenge by Banks, a dreadful back pass by Bernard, and Garland stretched out. Wonderful skills there by Banks, spotting so quickly that Garland was coming in so quickly. And that could well be the last crisis over for Stoke. 
Dave Sexton looking a bit drawn now, a little bit strained. Harry Medhurst, the trainer, with him. And Gordon Banks having lost two FA Cup finals with Leicester. Now just a few seconds away from winning one with Stoke and he's done it. Stoke have won to the delight of their bench and their supporters. With their goals, the winning one coming from George Easton, 35 years old, now getting the congratulations from Hollins and congratulations all round on that Stoke bench from Tony Waddington particularly, the man who has revitalised football in the Potteries. Stoke, 108 years of trying, and now at long, long last, they have succeeded. Peter Dobing, who 12 years ago went up those same steps to collect a loser's medal in the FA Cup final with Brackburn Rovers, now the winners with Stoke City. A great old campaigner, and a worthy prize towards the end of a great career. And that is going back, that cup, to the Potteries. The rest of the players getting their medals from uh, Dr. Gustav Wiedekehr, the president of the European Football Association. Mike Bernard, who very nearly lost it all. John Marsh, who had such a good game at fullback. There's the winner, George Easton. Mike Pedrick as well, Gordon Banks, another trophy for his sideboard, John Mahoney the substitute, and Terry Conroy. Losers who never really know where to put themselves at a moment like this. Chelsea waiting impatiently for the national anthem and then to get away.